Hello, um, this is my first and only update for this week. This is actually today, it's actually Monday. Um, I didn't update and time this whole week because I only finished one book the fifth season. I did finish this on Saturday. It's just that because this is the only book that I read, um, it took me a while to really get into it and like I keep losing momentum while I'm reading so I couldn't really update and just a fair warning by the way, this week is going to be very busy. Oh, the next three weeks are going to be very busy because my grandma and my aunt are here from the Philippines so I definitely not- I, I'm not gonna be having a lot of time to read. So yeah, um, the fifth season was a little bit confusing, but again, that's my fault. Fault because I didn't really read. You know, I didn't really keep the momentum while reading. So sometimes, and I go keep going back and forth. Um, the physical copy and the audio book, and sometimes I'm like, where am I? I don't know where I am, and sometimes I lose it, I'm just- I'm always forcing myself to read it. I, it's not that I didn't like it, it's just that I was so tired the whole week. So when I'm reading it, I'm like falling asleep while reading it, I keep forcing myself, pushing myself to read it. So there are some parts that I'm just a little confused, but overall, I still really enjoyed this book. I rated it 4 stars, but again, I probably would have rated it 4.5, 4.75. If not for the fact that I was very just not into reading. It's just a weird reading week for me. I am reading The Obelisk Gate and, I'm, and I noticed that I'm having the same thing. Like I've only read, I started this Sunday, yesterday, and I've only read until page 88. Again, this is going to be a very busy week. I'm probably just going to be finishing like one book a week for the next three weeks. So that's going to be interesting. Um, this is very interesting. The book it is a really great fantasy book and the world is so amazing the characters are also really great because they're not straightforward they're not oh we have a hero we have an antagonist blah 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 because we don't really have an antagonist um we're just following the stories of these different people and we're seeing their motivations and who they are and what their roles what they believe their roles are and sometimes they don't want to like be heroes or they, they don't really see themselves as heroes at all or like you know it's not like they, it's that um it's like a it's not a hero against the everyone else type of um stories it's survival and just you know living and seeing where this world is this, there is politics in this but it's more of um like figuring out like how the world works and where they came to that point and you know the secret the secrets that are hidden from other people in the way the world works and there's a lot of mystery around how the world is because if you guys didn't know the fifth season is about um this world where it feels like the world is always always ending like there's a lot of big natural disasters like earthquakes tsunamis hurricanes and it's all very natural and it's always happening the earth, the earth is just like ending pretty much so it's going crazy every time and we have people who are origins they are those that can control the earth but they're not regarded as like saviors or you know they're not really regarded highly they're actually quite the opposite and they're not treated very well they're regarded as people who have to be like slaves to help the lit in this world they're not really regarded as people who can help but more of like slaves that are forced to do to help. So we're discovering about the world and about the different people and the different cultures and the history of this world because with you know destruction and all of that, it's hard to keep history because they get destroyed. So again, I really enjoy this book. I definitely would have enjoyed it a little bit more if I wasn't forcing myself to read it. If I didn't have like such a weird reading week. And so I'm really going to try to not force myself to read Obelisk Gate and to really find the time to read it and be in the mood or in the zone to read it because this is the kind of book that I really need to be like 100% into because it's so interesting. There's a lot of things happening in like a few short moments and there's a lot of nuances. So you really need to be paying attention. So that's my fault again. So yeah, that's um, my only update for this week. It's gonna be super short. Um, and I think for the rest of the next few weeks, I might have to um, combine those, but I do wanna have to not upload anytime. But I think it's a good moment because I will be uploading PBRs and my wrap up soon. So I might just um, combine the next two to three weeks of vlogs. I can focus on filming and editing those other books because I need to. Um, but yeah, that's it for this week. Probably gonna be the same thing for the next few weeks.
So yeah, I don't I don't know how I'm going to um film my TBRs and my wrap up because my mom, my aunt, and my um grandma are staying in my room. So I don't know how it's gonna work. Anyway, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll see you guys after the next one. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have so many other videos right here. I think I'm doing this wrong. I should be on this side. You can check out some of my other videos right here. And I'll see you on my next videos. Bye.